to him. Throws it down to Danielle Pierce. Oh, that was a terrific play. Does Paralympic sport contribute to greater social justice, or does it reinforce existing inequalities? What new knowledges, techniques, and technologies are created by disability-inclusive sport, recreation, and performance art communities? My name is Danielle Pierce, and I'm a new assistant professor in the Faculty of Physical Education and Recreation at the University of Alberta. And these are some of the questions that my research investigates. Essentially, I do sociological and theoretical research around sport, physical activity, recreation, and art for people who experience disability. And this is anything from the Paralympic Games to disability dance. So I work at the intersection of three fields, critical disability studies, adapted physical activity, and sports sociology. I use a range of research approaches, historical research called genealogy, discourse analysis of texts, interview-based works, and arts-based research creation methods. My work draws strongly off my own experiences as a Paralympic athlete, parasport coach, and sports administrator, as well as my work as a filmmaker and a performance artist. Working with Danielle is really exciting because they bring such a deep understanding from their experience in disability community that allows them to layer disability politics and culture into adaptive physical activity and our understandings of disability sport. The Media in Motion Lab is really exciting because it provides opportunities and resources to connect with scholars across the campus who are looking at art and different kinds of media as new ways of knowing. So this is what the Media in Motion Lab is all about. We work collaboratively on projects that use creative methods like film, video games, and the performing arts to collect, create, and or translate knowledge about the human body in motion. This is what I spent last year researching with my Banting postdoc at Concordia University in Montreal. So Danielle and I are collaboratively working on a shirk funded project called Moving Towards Inclusion. Um, and basically, we're looking at who actually gets to play parasport and who might be systematically excluded from parasport. And to do this, we are analyzing the websites of parasport programs across Canada, from the local level all the way to the national and even the international level. We're studying how classification categories, equipment, rules, policies, programs, and representations all serve to encourage some people with disabilities to play and discourage or disqualify others based on, for example, their type of impairment. So of course we're going to have you know, traditional academic publications out of the project, but what's so exciting about the project is there's so many ways to translate this knowledge to make a difference. So on the one hand, we're thinking of making a web app so people who are interested in playing sport can figure out what sports they can play. And we're thinking of making a film so that we can translate our, our knowledge to everyone in French, English, and sign language. And third, a two-page policy paper so the people running these organizations can figure out how they can remove the barriers. I love both the research and teaching aspects of my job. I love analyzing the social world from the perspective of disability. And above all, I love working collaboratively. If you're a student, researcher, or community member who's interested in some of these questions or methods, feel free to contact me.